You know, in this city, it is getting harder and harder to separate show business from the news business. Excuse me. But not at Channel 5's 10 o'clock news. Because there, the star of the news is the news. And the newscasters who deliver it to you are the same ones who write it. Well, sure, it's great giving autographs, of course, but, you know, I'd rather give you the facts. John Rowland. Hi. John Rowland. And the Channel 5 10 o'clock news. We give it to you straight. Hello, I'm John Rowland. Coming up at 10 tonight, the police in Westchester made an arrest in the murder of a high school honors student. Brazilian police dug up what they say are the bones of Joseph Mengele, the Nazi's angel of death. But a lot of experts are very skeptical, and we'll tell you why tonight. Israeli Defense Minister Rabin says his troops are ready to go back into Lebanon if necessary. Greenwich Village has the country's first homosexual high school. Another frustration baby died. Madonna's big concert, and Stu reviews a new play with Tassie star Judd Hirsch. See you at 10. John Rowland coming up at 10, late word and some developing stories tonight. Barbara Laskin is just back from Westchester. Police made an arrest in the murder of that high school honors student. Bob O'Brien has a story on why so many experts are skeptical that bones dug up today belong to the Nazi war criminal Joseph Mengele. Chris Jones talked with Israel's defense minister, and Yitzhak Rabin told him that Israeli troops are ready to go back into Lebanon if necessary. Subway officials wanted to show off their new cars. Papa Guzman will tell you what went wrong. Plus, the amazing sports wins weather and Stu's review of the new play, I'm Not Rappaport. We'll see you at 10. Hello, I'm John Rowland. At 10 tonight, Dave Browdy and Frank Grimes follow up on their exclusive story about a midtown street that seems to have been handed over to hookers. The police did increase their patrols, and area residents talk about the problems tonight. Also, the president knew in New Jersey selling his tax plan, the school that wants students to pass tests for being drug-free before they can go to class. On the West Coast, the cheese that may have led to the deaths of more than 28 people. Some shocking revelations about hospital care in our town, plus news review of the movie Secret Admirer. See you at 10. <laughs> I'm John Rowland. Last night at 10, we told you about a Manhattan street that seemed to be handed over to the hookers. Tonight at 10, what happened after our report? There was a lot more police activity on the street. Dave Browdy will tell you about that, and Frank Grimes talks to the people who live and work on East 27th Street. Plus, the president in New Jersey selling his tax plan. The construction worker who says he's worth every penny of his salary, 400000 plus. The deadly argument over a bottle of soda that left three Brooklyn teenagers dead. On the coast, a killer cheese that may have taken 28 lives. Plus, the amazing sports and Lynn's weather. We'll see you at 10. <laughs> 